Hello, welcome back to Kells Soul Dare Eco Dyeing Experiment. <laughs> I have some fresh flowers from the garden, some dried flowers, and so and, and I made four. I made four little journals to put the flowers in, and they all are a little different. So you'll see them as I put stuff in. I also have some little rusty bits that I might put in one, on one of the pages. So let me zoom in here so you can see. So I'm just going to kind of start and uh, I have no idea again how these are going to turn out. These are surprise lilies and uh, so I thought I'd just put a couple of those at the beginning and I got some bean pods. And on this one, I'm not going to, um, I don't think I'm put as much floral stuff in, <clears throat> but it's kind of hard not to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was going to write uh, surprise Lily. And then over here, this is a, a glad, gladiola. So I'm going to see if that'll work to write the names of the flowers. Let me get my camera a little bit more. I set it up in this new way and so we can do this outside. Maybe you can see better. Okay. And I had these uh, little, these are some red rose leaves from earlier in the summer. <clears throat> and then I think I want to try to put like one of these leaves sticking out of this pocket. See what happens there. And the other thing I'll have to go back and do after I'm done is uh, put, you spray all the pages with water. So this is a uh, a butterfly plant. I don't know what it's, or milkweed, I think. And this is a, uh, a white geranium. Usually some things I can remember, but some of them I can't because <laughs> you just put so many in. Um, this is a, some dried, uh, oh, what do you call these? Not mums, uh, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to remember. Okay. Some roses. Some more little roses. I'm trying to still think of what those are called. Maybe they are a kind of mum, a mum, a carnation. Yeah, they're not a mum. <laughs> they're a carnation. Ouch. So I don't know how these wet, um, fresh leaves will work, but I thought I'd put those in there. Remember, roses have thorns, so <laughs> there's that. And then I'm going to take one of my big sunflowers and put it here and see what happens with it this time it'll fade through all these papers or not. I don't know. So that makes it pretty bulky there. So let's turn a couple pages. Um, I do like these. Uh, these are some more rose petals. And then some of these uh, hollyhocks. They really make some nice blues and purples. And I like breaking them up. And this kind of have a like Almost confetti effect. <laughs> There's a piece of rusty bit. Let's put that in there. And put it closer to the that. 
And then let's see, what can we put here? Let's put this, oops, I'm knocking things over. This was a, a painted like eucalyptus leaf that I did before and I don't know if there's any more color in it, but uh, I'm going to put it with this pink paper because I know this pink paper will make a dye. And then let's just take some uh, marigold over here. Let's see if we can get some yellow going with the marigold. And I also just kind of let's let bits and pieces be in there. Okay. And of course they're all gonna fall. Alright. <laughs> this would be fun with something on it. Let's put just some bean pods. And so I'm only gonna fill this one on camera and then I'll um, come back to it because it's just gonna, here's a, some calla, calla lilies from a bouquet. So those should help, these would be cool if they make a really striking <laughs> design. And that's not a piece of fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that over. And let's put, here's a Black Eyed Susan, let's put that by itself. All right, this is getting pretty thick. <laughs> um, okay, I'll put these in. I'll get these little, um, these are a baby hosta leaves. So we'll see if they make any imprint. Marigold with them. And some more red roses. And for good measure, a little hollyhock. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stop there and go back and fill the rest, and I'll come back later. Bye. I'm back, and I have another journal to fill. Just got the first one going. I forgot the like I said, I forgot that we need to um, spray the pages with water as we go along, so we're going to do that. Um, I don't think any of this has to be up a certain way or not. Yeah, okay. I'm just seeing if I would want it. Okay, I think I wanted it to go this way because I made the pocket things. Alright, so this is the front. And I have some more things on this paper. You can see where that hollyhock already just stained the paper just by it being wet so <laughs> that is cool so under here what do i have i have a daisy okay so let's put the daisy let's try to put the daisy like right here in the first i don't know like that yeah yeah <laughs> i'm overthinking it now i was like how's it gonna get on that <laughs> Like I said, on some of them, I'm going to try to not put as many things in there, but it's really hard not to. And I think what I'll do is just take some of the sunflower petals this time on this one. I'll just put those in there. Let's see what kind of color they develop. from a, a wedding bouquet and I don't know what they are they're wild palms of some sort and some dried kind of straw type flowers I have no idea if they're gonna make any <laughs> might be lavender 
so we'll see if they make any. The only thing I did the first time was I taped some things down, so you might want to do that still because it feels like it would be make it easier to <laughs> handle them, some of them, turning the pages and stuff. Um, what else did I have here? Some more roses, but I have some roses back here. Very fragrant. <laughs> I mean, not like rose smelly, but I didn't expect them to have a scent. <laughs> so that was interesting. It's just kind of that dried, potpourri kind of smell, I guess. Um, let's see what else I can put in here. Let's take a rose leaf and put it right there. Yeah, if you have any kind of flower allergies, these things are potent smelling, so you might want to keep that in mind. I'm just bearing with them. And then I'm going to also put some more lilies in. These are very fragrant also. Okay, so let's see we'll do that. Now let's turn a few pages and leave some blank ones. This is some dye, some distressing, so it'll get uh, released again. So here I have this, um, well, I don't know if it's going to come off. It's a morning glory. It's very fragile. There it is. And like I said, I, I, I do press some of them beforehand because I feel like they'll do better if they're flat. So this would be an instance where it would be good to have uh, some tape. <laughs> And then we can just go back and put that like that. Yeah, okay, that'll be interesting to see how it interacts with the distressing. I have these keys. I thought I'd put those in there and see if they make any kind of marks. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of marigolds nearby me. I have, some, I have a piece of avocado skin. Let's see what that does. <laughs> Usually if you do these avocado skins, they'll uh, get turned to like a mauve color. So we'll see if they leave any color behind. These are the black bean pods and actually a few um, dogwood blossoms so that dogwood sometimes is some mark too so we'll see let's see what we will see <laughs> sometimes it's easier if you fold back that way there's another just bits and pieces that are falling off <laughs> Let's see here. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to my hallyhock. <laughs> Do a little cross and see what happens with that. Of course, some of this stuff moves when you uh, roll it all together, so we shall see if it stays in that shape. <laughs> Again, I could have glued them down or um, taped them, but I didn't. There's one little dandelion seed. <laughs> Let's 
just gonna take one of these roses, put that in there, and that page and see. Be careful. It's got thorns in it. <laughs> And I think that was acrylic, so it shouldn't bleed, but there might be some other water solubles in there. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, that's another one. I'm going to wrap this one up, and uh, then I will... Come back and show you the next one. And when I wrap it up, I just uh, kind of fold it in on itself, kind of like a burrito. Get it wet some more. And then I think I will maybe just wrap it in this paper too, just to kind of hold it together a little better. And then just tie it with any kind of um, string. So there's that one ready to go. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here we are back again. Now I have some marigolds and some other stuff still sitting here on the table. And I think for this one, I also brought in my bucket of rusty bits that I bought at a antique store. So I think I'll put some of these in there, this one. This is just um, water, vinegar water with rusty stuff in it. So, I'll pull them out as we go. <laughs> so, let's see, I've got these two left. Um, I think I'll take this one. I don't know why. <laughs> and we're just going to fill this one with, um, with marigolds and rust. Okay, it goes the other way. decide how much of the yeah huh, just go for it <laughs> and then just sometimes doing more of a minimalist approach is satisfying because the, the stains and stuff will still come through but um There's not so much about getting all the, the patterns. This one's going to smell real pretty too when it's done because it's got all this marigolds in it. Oh, there, that's fun. That just kind of popped in there. There's marigolds sitting in the rust, so we'll just let that happen. Open this up. both kind of reddish orange ones and yes plain yellow ones now with this one if you put rust in your stuff be very careful because it is going to be you gotta let it cool probably overnight because <laughs> the metal's going to be hot of course here's a stick we'll put some sticks in here too and see what happens This is just a little wire from the bouquet. And my jar of rusty stuff is. <laughs> 
rust on the bottom of it. <laughs> I'm running out of water now. <laughs> That's okay. I can get more. Alright, I want to put this big <laughs> chain like this. And then just flip it. Water. And obviously it's okay if the pages get wet because I'm going to steam it anyway. Okay. Wrong, wrong thing. <laughs> In there. Of course, this sunflower is begging to me to put it in there too. I wasn't going to do that, but I am now. <laughs> and see what that does. When I get towards the end, I just get very, like, just put it in there, put it in there. <laughs> I like the little marks that the marigold seeds make, too. All right. Let's close this one up. Just put the remnants in here. Let's see what else falls in. <laughs> gonna even put anything maybe just one more thing right here and then let the rest of this kind of fill in <laughs> and <it> saturate <laughs> and this one's gonna be probably a little bit harder to fold all the way yeah I might be able to fold this one at all so what I think I'll do with this one is wrap it in some newspaper. Oh. And then I'll tie this one up in a minute too. Uh oh, one of my things fell out. <laughs> and I'll tie this up with some string. So we'll put that there, and then let's finish this other one. Look what we have last time. Yep, I think that's where I wanted it to go. We got several of these lilies left. So, I'm going to go more start, leave the front pages empty and just start in the middle and see, see what effect that has on it. If it leads back through to the other pages, that would be awesome. 
This is the only one that I think I put a piece of this kind of uh, scrapbook paper in. So we'll see if that does anything. Let's put this guy right for here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I have some other leaves that I want to definitely put in this one that I pressed. those towards the back. Let's put the other big sunflower here. And I would recommend, you know, again, if you have, make sure you have good ventilation when you're doing these kind of things. Um, I'm going to put some more of the lily in here. Just put one. Let's put this one right here. steaming mine in the house. You may not want to do that. You may want to do it outside because it, it is going to make things smell different. And uh, also I put vinegar in my water because I like feel like it makes the prints stronger or preserves them a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. So it's just a feeling I am. <laughs> All right. And then let's get these leaves that I want. So these are definitely just some weeds that were in my garden, but I liked how they had the little aphid holes in them. Um, so I wanted to see what kind of pattern I could get from these. And I flattened them out. <laughs> and they're sticky. It's humid. <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> okay, that's enough of them. dogwood blossoms that were on the floor in the garage. <laughs> so, sometimes the things that you don't think will do anything surprise you the most. <laughs> here for good measure. <laughs> Some polyops. <laughs> They're even staining my table where it's wet. <laughs> and my fingers. <laughs> Those petals, so I'm gonna set them in there just to give them some other. Yeah, 
that's good enough. Push them down on the fabric. All right, guys, that's it. Four, four more journals ready to go. The other two are cooking. I'll come back later with a, a reveal of what we want on the pages. Rain, debris, <laughs> just like scrappy scraps stack here. <laughs> Have fun searching for flowers and getting playing with water. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Bye.